Hey guys, Season of Brad here. So LG makes some of the best TVs on the market today. I've had the LG C1 in my game room for the last year or so, and it's probably the best gaming TV I've ever owned. The picture quality is fantastic, the sound is awesome, it provides a great gaming experience. So I had been wanting the LG G2 for a while now. Until last year during Black Friday, I was able to pick up one at Best Buy. Geek Squad came to the house, they mounted the TV onto the wall for me, it was perfect. And the TV was awesome for about a month. After about a month of owning the TV, I began to have Wi-Fi connection issues. Basically about every 30 minutes to an hour or so, the TV would just lose Wi-Fi connection. Sometimes I could just go back into the settings, find the router, and reconnect no problem. But more often than not, I would have to get up, go unplug the TV from the wall, plug it back in before it would let me reconnect. And again, this would happen about every 30 minutes to an hour. Like, could you imagine binging your favorite show and having to get up every 30 minutes in between shows to unplug your TV and plug it back in? A TV that's mounted to the wall, mind you. And so at first, I tried some things I knew to try at home to try to troubleshoot the problem. I tried moving the home router somewhat closer to the TV to see if that fixed it. It did not. I even tried restarting the TV back to factory settings to see if that fixed the problem, and it didn't. So I called LG to see if this was a common issue and to see if there was something that they could do to fix the problem. And so they had me go into the settings and change a few codes in the settings to see if that fixed the issue, and it did for like two days. So I called them back a couple days later to let them know that the problem is still happening. And so they tried changing a few more settings to see if that would fix the problem. And of course it did not. And so after a third phone call to let them know that the TV is still having Wi-Fi issues, they contacted a third party repair company that they outsourced their stuff to that's local here in town to see if they could come out to the house to try to fix the problem. And so my worry was that because the issue is happening so intermittently, they wouldn't even see it happen. So about a week later, the guy comes to the house, he walks in, looks at the TV, and of course it's not having the issues right now, because why would it? But this guy walks into the house, looks at the TV, and goes, well buddy, sometimes these TVs just aren't good. Maybe you should get a fire stick. And I'm thinking, I just spent $2,000 on this TV. I should not have to buy another third party peripheral to use smart TV apps on a TV that already has those on it. But no, rather than offer any sort of solution, his solution was to buy a fire stick. So after spending about five minutes looking at the TV, he leaves. So about a day or two later, I call LG back to let them know that the guy couldn't fix the problem and to let them know that the TV is still having Wi-Fi problems. And LG's response to this is, maybe you should move your router under the TV and hardwire it in with an ethernet cable. And so I'm thinking, why should I have to do that? I don't want my ugly ass router sitting on top of the mantle. If the TV has Wi-Fi connectivity, it should work. And it's not like I have some piece of crap Wi-Fi. We have a brand new Wi-Fi mesh network in the house and no other device in the house has connection issues besides the TV. And so we hang up and I'm just, pissed. So reluctantly, I decide that the best thing I can do is I guess just move my router to the top of the mantle and hardwire it in with an ethernet cable. So I go back to Best Buy and ask one of the workers, hey, what is the shortest ethernet cable that you own? And of course the guy asked why and I explained to him all that's happened so far. And the worker asks, do you have Geek Squad support? And of course I do. And the worker goes, no, we're going to fix this problem right now. He explained to me that sometimes the Wi-Fi chip or the motherboard itself can go bad and cause this kind of issue. So right there, he orders some replacement parts to be shipped to the house. So right there, Best Buy has already done more for me than LG even attempted to do. So about two weeks later, the parts arrive and the Geek Squad worker is scheduled to come to the house to replace those parts. Well then, the day he's supposed to arrive, I wake up to find this solid red line of pixels down the TV. The line spans from the top bezel of the TV all the way to the bottom. And no matter what I do, those pixels stay red. It doesn't matter what you're watching, it doesn't matter if the TV is on standby mode, nothing. And I tried pixel refresh, I tried OLED care on the TV to see if that fixed it, it didn't. 
I tried a factory reset of the TV to see if that fixed it, it didn't. And so after a quick Google search, I found that this means that the panel itself has gone bad. So not only does this TV have a defective panel, it has Wi-Fi connection issues too. So like an hour or two later, the Geek Squad support guy shows up. I show him the new problem that has now shown itself. And he goes, this may be beyond me. Let me call LG to see what we need to do. And so he then calls LG and explains to them about the panel defect and the Wi-Fi connection issues that we're still having. And so then LG informs the Geek Squad worker to not replace those parts that they would take over from here. So they hang up. The Geek Squad worker gives me his card and says if I need any help or have any other issues to call him. So he leaves and I go hours without hearing a single thing from LG. Eventually, I get a text message from LG saying that they have outsourced the repair for this TV to a third party repair company that operates in our town. And funny enough, it's the same company that came to the house the first time that told me to buy a freaking fire stick for the TV. So having still not heard from them yet, I called the company to, to see when they planned to come to the house to make this repair. After they answered the phone, I explained to them all that's happened so far, and they agreed that they will order a replacement panel and repair the TV. But I will have to unmount the TV myself from the wall before they get there. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever owned an LG C series TV or a G series TV, but they're freaking heavy. Not only do they expect me to unmount the TV, they still tell me they cannot fix the Wi-Fi connection issue, that they will only replace the panel. And again, their advice to me about the Wi-Fi connection issues is to buy a fire stick. So then I asked the company, would it be easier just to replace the TV with another one? Like to me, it makes more sense to just replace the TV, then replace all of the parts inside the TV. But their response is, nah, buddy, we can't do that. That's LG's problem. That's not ours. Ugh. Okay. So I hang up. I then call LG back to explain to them all that's happened again and to see if we could just not replace the TV rather than having to replace all of the insides of the one I have right now. And do you want to know what the response to that was? Their response is that because the TV is so new and that because I've owned it for less than a year, it's still under factory warranty and that there's not enough damage to the TV to warrant them to replace the TV with a new one. I was livid. And then they of course restate that I will have to unmount the TV from the wall before the company gets there to make the repair, which is still insane to me. So I hang up and I am still just fuming. Luckily, the Geek Squad guy gave me his card and so I called him back to let him know what the plan is so far. And I informed him that LG expects me to unmount this TV from the wall myself and that we would still have to eventually replace the motherboard and the Wi-Fi chip because the other company refuses to do so. There's a long pause and then the guy goes, why don't you come to the store really fast? And so luckily Best Buy is across the road from the house. And so I drive over there and the guy is there waiting for me. He takes me into the back to meet the manager and we explain to the manager all that's happened so far with the motherboard and the Wi-Fi chip and now the defective panel and what LG's plan is for this. And the manager gets just as pissed as I was. So he immediately walks into the back, finds a replacement G2 for me, comes back, loads it up onto a truck and has it shipped to the house. And then immediately schedules me a Geek Squad support visit for the house to mount the TV back onto the wall. So during the course of this entire event, Best Buy and Geek Squad did more for me than LG even attempted to do. So Best Buy, you have earned my tech business for life. And LG, you make awesome products, but your customer support needs some work. But guys, that's all for today. If you would, like and comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always guys, have a good one.